Right, okay, so back again for Excel Escape from the Pit. I realise I've I've not done something. I've not got the power for this yet. See, to install the power, I say install it, just plug it in really. properly start and then I can actually um, re-talk about what I was talking about yesterday which was um, the Amiga the Amiga event Amiga April and the upcoming Mados which I've got an idea for uh, after what happened today Hopefully today we won't get any issues with sound uh, because I've got a new, um, I basically got a separate I've got a separate cable for the audio so I'm going to wait until, oh hang on a minute to pull out the um, thumbstick, I don't think it's going to work, I think I'm going to have to restart it Yeah, I think I'm going to start. Give me a moment. Hopefully this is not going to be bad for you. Let me just switch the audio cable out now. So well that works. Right, whilst that's booting up anyway, let me get on with the audio stuff. Uh, not audio, the events. So, um, Amiga April is around the corner, which I've decided to sign up for. Just give it a sec. Excellent, right, sounds good, excellent. Okay, so Amigo April is around the corner. Let's put this back in, there we go. And I will be, I've signed up for it, so uh, at the moment what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep doing Amiga Monday. Um, that's gonna go on as usual. Tuesday is gonna be First Samurai. Uh, that's actually gonna be by the Mister because I couldn't get it working on the, um, on the checkmate amiga because it's accelerated and i try i think i tried it on the non-accelerated amiga but i've got to faff around with it with it and i thought you know what there's no um qualm of me doing an emulated version because i mostly do a real hardware anyway so me not doing um real hardware is not gonna i don't think anyone's gonna really care um, so that's going to happen on Tuesday. Friday is going to be random games. So that is going to be anything that people suggest or anything that I feel like playing. It's, to, it's more going to be a uh, viewer request, um, but I will do anything um, within reason, obviously. Uh, so that is Amiga April. And then following from Amiga April, we're going to be going into my event, which is Meadows. And that is Windows 3 uh, X Games, so that's Dream Goes 3, 3.1, uh, 3.11, um, that sort of era. Because I didn't, a lot of, <laughs> what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to kind of say, oh, it's only Windows 3.11 only, and have somebody turn around and say, oh, I used to play games on 3.0, you know, 3.0. So that's why I've just gone straight through that. So no Windows 95. No Windows 2, no Windows 1, just Windows 3 family. 
Um, we're carrying on with Dark Seed 2 because I didn't get to finish it off. So that would be good to get that finish. Um, I won't be doing Amiga Mondays on that month because I think after uh, April I'm going to be all Amiga'd out. Especially with this month because we're doing um, Super Skid Marks on Friday and that's through Amiga as well. But what I might do is if I am going to take one day uh, separate on Mados, it, I might be a rebel and put the Atari ST on because I've recently upgraded the, the ROMs from uh, TOS 1 to TOS uh, 1.04 or 1.4, 1 2. It's basically a rainbow version. Um, the Ultra Satan that I got, which is the handheld, uh, not handheld, the, I'll put this on so you can see. Let me see, just turn that over there, you don't want to see the cat train, nobody does. <laughs> um, and the reason why that dropped is because my clip is broken again. I need to glue it. I tried gluing it last time, but it kind of went wrong. Let's see if I can... Because the problem with these clips is they only last a certain amount of time. And then they just start messing up. Yeah, it's gone, gone again. Try once more, and if it goes again, I'll just have to switch it. Yeah. All right, hopefully it'll stay. I can't really um, promise anything. If it goes again, I'll have to stick it down here like it used to do years ago. Anyway, like I was saying before, before the um, collapse happened, the Ultra Satan for the Atari ST is basically a um, SD card. Um, hard drive. This is actually a mini SD, but it's eight gig. So it's now been partitioned into lots of different hard drives. Uh, the good thing about the um, upgraded uh, TOS is that uh, instead of two, five, six meg per hard drive, I now get double or oh, is it double? Just, yeah, just at a double. So it's 511 meg I get per um, partition. Um, so I've been filling it with games and I've put some, I started to put some programming languages on. One of them I put on was called Alice, which is Pascal based. Um, that reminds me, I forgot to put my ring light on. God, I'm so disorganized today, but that's a possibility for May is to play around with that. Um, I'm just going to add on some more games. And then we're going to look at, um, yep, I knew that was going to happen as soon as I moved it. Right, hang on a minute. I don't know how well this is going to work. Yeah, right, so camera's off for now. <laughs> oh, God. Right, camera's off for now, I think. Just have to try and fix that for next time. Uh... Not fun, okay. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about this.
No, don't give me that cam. This one. There we go. What was the cat cam? Just have to I'll have to be an Ashens and do with my fingers. The problem is, is the cam is not. I'll have to do for now. What I'll have to do is I'll just have to hide the old cam. There we go. It's not amazing, but it's better than nothing. But anyway, this here we will have a look at at uh, probably May now. Okay. And this is the little thing that's kind of come off. So that's part of what was called in the phone. But um, the last time I tried to glue this, it basically glued it so I couldn't actually pull it out at all. So, and that's only lasted... <sighs> when did I buy it? At some point last year. I can't keep buying these. I need to try and find a way to glue it properly. The problem is it's on a spring, so I need to pull the uh, edges out and kind of um, keep it affixed, but I'm not quite sure how to do that. Without breaking it anyway. Right. Let's... Talky more actually playing. Turn it down in my ears. Right, where was I? March the 5th, was it? Yeah, March the 5th. Right. So I've recently done some grinding on this and is there anybody that needs to be gold moons up by one sprayers farrowers and I've only got 409 gold uh, I might do another grind in here the other thing I've done is um, Gold Moon has more spells now because I went to. Um, let me just see if I can pull this up a bit. Yeah, so I kind of went to. Um, where did I go to now? The Tower of the Mag Magi, um, the Tower of the Magi, um, 
Magi uh, Magi. There was the priest in there that actually sells uh, stuff for um, Gold Moon, and she's now got things like uh, Firestorm, which is the equivalent to the Mages, uh, Fireball. She's got, um, I think she's got Ravage en Enemy and something else. So slowly buying those up. I might by next stream have bought the rest of them because I was just going to here and trying to get some more experience and money in. Because here you can get a load of... more experience on this one. Because uh, there's a load of... you're filling it up under around randomly. I've cleared most of it out. Ah, oh, you know what? I don't like this uh, cam. I prefer it this way. It's a bit of a mess behind here, so we want to see. There we go. Uh, I'll just have to put some like no cam or something like that. Actually, tell you what, I'll just do a Charlie Far or an Ashens and just do my hands. Be easier. There you go, hands, cool. Right. As you can see, something. Okay. This door keeps locking every time you come out and come back in again. No point in me keep doing the whole reopening. This, I can't remember whether this causes an issue if I do something here. Outer is old and warm, radiates a strange grim aura. There's a nice gold goblet of jewels sitting on it. Help myself or leave. I've got a feeling if I help myself, I'm probably going to get landed with some um, demons that I'm not going to be able to kill. Plus, I don't think I've got enough room in my inventory, so I'm going to leave it for now. Oh, the other thing. Uh, there's another cave that I found. So when I was doing the mapping here, um, something else I want to show. Go into the folders here. Uh, if you remember the old saves, look at this one. This is one of the old ones. That's 113. It's 50. Oh, no, that's a completely different thing. Um, that's 56.9. That's about the same. It's about the same. Same. Whereas March the 5th one is a lot bigger. And that's because we're saving the maps now. And you can see that's still fully filled out, whereas last time we came back in, half of this would have gone by now. You can see it's all filled in here. So I did this off stream. I did some of it on stream, but the rest of it I did it off. Uh, let's look at 300 on food. I went back and filled in quite a lot of the towns as well. The one thing I did accidentally fill in was the honeycomb to the west, where we'd not actually been there. And I think the only reason why I didn't want to go down there was because there was rumours of a dragon who was um, a lot nastier than the one in the north. So I decided to leave it. 
and that's around this area here. Um, but there's a uh, there's an ogre cave up here that I want to have a look at, which we never saw. That I'm aware of anyway. Show you some of the stuff. So this is a new flame strike. That's the one that I said that's uh, similar to the um, fireball for the wizard. Blessed part is a new one. Major heal is a new one. So that was another one I got from the priest in the Tower of the Magi. Uh, heal is a new one, and Rabbit Journey Me is a new one. So I need to pick up Raise Dead, Revive, and Dead Stone. I think she's got. So that would fill out all that now. I don't want to put there. Secret area, it's always good. Trap, Brian. Oh dear, that was good. good. What we got? I hope I can pick some of this stuff up. Leather armor. Yes. Nothing on the bookshelves. Nothing in the uh, cases or barrels.
I'm trying to remember where I was going back and then I realised that's because I've been down here. See him. Where did you come out from? <laughs> oh, from down here, fair enough. Unless they were already there and I didn't notice, which is possible. Health is pretty good. So when I was leveling up, I made sure to level up some HP for a few people, and it's been helping. Medium speed potion. I'll sell for a bit. Right, where am I? I'm over here.
Gold moon, 19 spell points. Don't want to do that, but never mind. Best check to see what the health is like for other people in a moment. And what are we on? Not too bad. Spell points. Farrell's got a shitload. Uh, gold moon's slowly going down, so I've got to be careful. Zillith, I don't use much in the way of her spells. Not much in the way gold though. That doesn't feel like it anyway. Oh, who are you? You see a man in a ragged robes. He seems thrilled to see you. Name, greetings friend, I'm called Bantam the Mage. Job, I was an apprentice mage, now a prisoner of the ogres. Prisoner, they captured me when I was fleeing the tower. I don't recall any, let me just double check my notes. I don't recall any conversation about this, but I could be wrong. Oh, is it banter, is it? Uh... Nope, nothing in my notes about this. Uh, let me know what we're going to ask. Tower fleeing, captured. Let's try tower. The tower of the mad guy to the southeast. I was an apprentice there. Apprentice. Once and I fled, there are true horrors there. Oh. He shivers and winces. I only heard rumours, but the way people acted made be be me believe they were true. He looks... From side to side, as if afraid someone would be watching. I heard they were going to some a hack eye. Okay, that sounds like a demon. He winces at the sound of the word. Uh, the mightiest race of demons, fierce and deadly, uh, utter foolishness to try and summon one. We're still to try and control it. I heard they were going to lure it to the tower using a powerful magic item as bait. And she was again. Tell you it's bad here, but there I was afraid for my soul. Huh. Item magic. No. Summon Demon No Which 
control. No. Hmm. Let's try rumors. Nope. Prisoner. Captured. Fleeing. No, I think we got much what we need out of that then. This room is an ogre larder of sorts. Dispirited Nephilim sit on filthy beds waiting for the end. It's very depressing. After a time, the few that can still move begin their escape. Fair enough. Off you go. Shows they're not all races like each other. Save game as from March nineteenth. Oh, a lot more. Hmm, I have to use fireball at this point. I don't really want to use flame strike because I need it for special 15 spell points. Everyone's doing okay though. Well, it's not bad. Someone's pet lizard. Still a bit low. Oh, you flip through the books of arcane lore. Most of them are in uninteresting. Some contain maddened ravings. A few contain notes regarding rather promising but at this point fruitless magical research. Finally, one book bound in dragon hide is of great interest. You learn from pursuing it how to per per not pursuing perusing get this correct uh, perusing it how to cast a spell protection always worth checking things so who's got protection
Aha, it's a level 7 spell. Cool. I'll definitely save at that point. Uh, before we take the boat. Right, I might want to rest first before we carry on. Giving us some purpose because I'm just gonna unleash hell. Right. Fireball. Oh, you wish you never did that to me. Always great when your spell casters have amazing magic to the point where um, you can take out a, a good amount of people. Save that, go back in. Lizards. Yeah. Flame strike with the priest. The fence is a small gate in here. Uh, you go through, carefully closing it behind you. Potion, don't know what it is. Nothing on the body. There. So this looks like it's going to connect here.
Please tell me that's it. No, we've got a mage, of course we do. Right, so we need to investigate down here and around here before we go down this part, I think. See what this event is. This is a kitchen, a cauldron of grey stew simmers merrily over the fire. Eat or leave. I mean, if it's poisonous, it's not going to be too bad. Let's see what happens if we eat it. If you scoop up some of the soup into a bowl you find nearby. When you do, you see something hideous. Uh, you see something you. You see something you hideous, so, so horrible, so mind-bendingly disturbing that your brain wipes it from your memory forever. You do you see something? I don't think that's meant to be there. So I take it nobody ate it. Fair enough. Nothing on the corpses. Ah, this is further up from the uh, entrance. Secret doors there. This room is the ogre's privy. A pit by the wall leads down to unimaginable horrors. Can't get down there anyway. Okay, so we've done all that. I don't think there's anything missing. Ooh, it's an asp.
Uh, this is just kind of stuff for alchemy, so I'm going to leave it there. So like discoloration on the floor. Oh, okay. Someone has a lock. I hope this is a good thing. Oh dear, it's an altar. Huh. There's no way we can desecrate it, so that's a good thing. There's a large room on the floor ahead, but you've got a bad feeling about this. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Another rune. Still the sand. Oh! Treasure. Darts. Iron broadsword. Probably cost a bit. Mm. A cursed helm. Problem with cursed stuff is I can't really sell it. As far as I know. So I'm going to leave it there. It just says evil altar, so that's good. Don't have to do anything with it. Thing at the moment. Oh, okay, fine. I can't use fireball because I'll hit my main fighter.
Hmm. If I use fireball here, I should get this area. So. That's not good. Zillith and Brian are about to die. Thank God I've I saved the um the spells for the priest, otherwise that would have been Kerns. Well, yeah, that was semi uh, difficult. Hmm. I've had much more difficult places to have been, but. Hmm. We did get through it. Hmm. Right, so. Before I back down here and explore around here where a place where I've kind of mapped and didn't realize we'd done or not done sorry um, I'm gonna go sell some stuff Who's the armor? Okay, Anastasia. What we go? On the mail to sell. Bronze Helm. Okay, let's start with that. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, uh, Selm Stern has this one. Got leather armor here and bronze helm from Gold Moon. Zillith already has an iron broadsword, so we can sell that and get rid of the darts as well. 
I don't use juice anymore. Oh, can't sell. Oh, it's because it's not a, it's not an armor. Get rid of the iron buckle now. I don't know about this gold necklace. See if it's worth anything. Not to this seller. <laughs> Darts, nothing. Fine. Unless I need to identify them, but I doubt it. Or maybe I need to go to an archery person. Right, so we've got 1,480. See who we're leveling. Core needs leveling. Gold Moon. Brian. And Farrell. Start with a magic user first. Put two in health and two in point spell points, I think. Next up, Brian. Whack it all into health at the moment. Now let's do one to some traps actually. Yeah. Gold moon. Excuse me, sorry. Um We've only got five. Let's push more into spell points actually. One health. Okay. Stim and cool. Kind of a modern mage law. Another one in defense and another one in health. Oh, can't do health. Weird. Unless 200 is the max that I can do, which might be the reason. Put the rest of me, Claude. Right, so I now need to sell. In fact, I need to go up north to identify a couple of items that I don't know.
Right, so you can buy darts and stuff from here, but you can't sell anything. Fine, let's see what the guy down here does. He doesn't either. So darts seem to be quite useless. Nice to sell anyway. I'll take the gold necklace. And the silver ank. Need to get this, find out what it is. Identification. Medium energy potion. That's it. A little bit of money there. Right, okay. So that's that done. Save that there. We've still got quite a bit of money. So that means I'm going to go back to this tower of the Magi. And you can see where I've got, I'm going to get the rest of these spells from. For Gold Moon. Or at least level seven ones, anyway. Right, so we need to be around here, I think. Not that shop. It's this one. Yes. Right, Gold Moon, what are we going to get you this time? We can get you raised dead now for 2,000. Sod it, why not? Oh, we've got it, okay. I have to find out what else we've got. Must have got it last time. So we've got Bless Party, Flame Stripe, we've got that. At least it tells you what you've got without you having to waste money. Flame Stripe, we need here, we've got Heal All, we've got. Uh, I think, is it this one? Didn't have that. We've got that spell. Got that spell. So Revive is the only one we didn't have. Uh, let's see what's in the spell library. This spell heals all damage and cures all poison for one PC. Okay, that's good. So all these should be done now. I think I need to get some more at level 3, level 4 stuff. 
And I've only got one, I think, on a level seven. Perhaps. Or is that the mage? Anyway, at least we've got that now. Um, we've got a piercing crystal. Not sure whether it's worth trying to get through here or not. Or maybe down here. Save it and try it. This man is clearly an apprentice mage here. However, he's clearly starved and dehydrated and on the verge of a nervous breakdown as well. Why do I have a feeling this person decided to make a barrier spell and fucked it up? Name, he twitches and lurches towards you. Please say you've come to let me out. I'll be good. Job, he didn't seem to hear what you said. I'll be good, I promise. It's a good idea. We should. We did. I'm glad. It was a good thing. Please let me out. We can control it. Oh... His eyes are wild, and his voice is shrill, half a shriek. So this is the, um, this is what we got told about in the Ogre Cave. Uh, why have you been locked in there? Let's try control. He continues to rent. It's strange. He seems to be weakened, not by deprivation, but sheer terror. We can control it. I didn't think we could. He looks at you for the first time in seeming to see you. We all did it. We all brought it here. We lured it. He lurches even closer to you. It's here now, waiting for us to break. Then we'll all burn. Can I type in that? No, it doesn't know what that is. Okay. Um... I can't remember where I was now. Control. Lured and brought. Nope. Burn, break, waiting, it, good, let me out, no. idea hmm don't know about that any further there's a pit in there well hopefully he's out out now wonder if I can get some more piercing stones from shop around here Shielding crystal. Can 
Not from there. Right, I think we're done in there then, so I can find another piercing crystal. Right, the next area I wanted to go was somewhere around here, I think. So this bit here was uncovered and I didn't realise, it didn't click at the time until I, because we've been around here, but because this map has never been filled in, obviously I've missed this bit, so we're going to go over there. And find out what actually it is. I need to walk across fire to be able to do this. Oh, we have an enemy, but he disappeared. <laughs> Fair enough. If you don't want to take me on, that's fine. No secrets that I can see. Excuse me, I wonder how much damage it'll take if I walk over. <coughs> uh, yeah, no, maybe not then. Protection, one of the most powerful spells in the mage's repertoire. It makes the whole of party temporarily magic resistant. It makes one PC you select immune to all damage for a short time. So that's not going to help in terms of resistance to fire. Maybe D barrier might do that, but I don't know whether I can get that. Hmm, okay, I have to come back here at some point then. The other place is the honeycomb, I'm wondering whether it's this side or not. Which we might as well have a look at. I 
There's also this down here, but I think we've been down here. Castle. I don't remember where the honeycomb is. Sure, it was near the Tower of the Magi. There's certainly something around here as well. Right, let me have a quick look to see if I can get some secret area around here. There's something, unless it's just part of this wall. I think it's just part of this. I think it's just the way that the map just kind of being filled. Right, okay, home and home to the west. Let's have a look at this. I'm feeling a bit more confident. So these are the areas I'd already kind of filled in here until I realised that what I was doing and I came out of it. Right, okay. Uh, there's a lot of slith uh, slitheraki around in here as well. So I've got to be careful. We find a hermit's hut. There is a man living here, but he refuses to let you in. Eventually, you leave. The tunnel here has long lines of runes engraved on the floor and walls. We try to keep going, but some sort of field keeps pushing you back. To block the passage in this way must have taken an incredible amount of magical skill. Wonder whether the dragon's down there. Unless we just bypassed it. Yeah, uh, maybe not. A uh, fountain burbles, uh, burbles is that? Out a crack in the ground here. The water is sparkling and looks highly inviting. Last time I did this, uh, my party got poisoned. So let's drink it and see what happens. The water is cool and pleasant going down. You drink your fill and then the sour water sours in your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, 
I f oh, it's another one as well. Uh, should he or shouldn't he? I mean, it is in a secret area. So let's go for it. It's not like I can't do um, cure poison. Oh, the water is refreshing and wonderful. You drink your fill, then as you leave, you start to feel stronger. Cool. Oh, somebody's gone up a level. Stern. Just, um, okay. Does it happen again? Oh. <laughs> Only lets me do it once. Fine. You find a small hut with edible mushrooms growing around it. Perhaps some sort of hermit lives here. Let's try entering. There is a lone man living here, made a uh, tough and tactic tactic turn attack tack turn uh, by the hardship of living out tea here. He gives you mushroom soup and lichen tea and asks of goings on outside the honeycomb. Eventually. You get up to leave as you do so. He offers to sell you a brooch, uh, or a brooch that you found in the tunnels. Only three hundred gold. Hmm. Yeah, go on. In. You buy it and find it's not so much a uh, brooch; it's as a necklace, and it's made of tarnished copper. Not impressive. I think I've been had. At least it killed one of its own members of party.
cool. Not a bad hole. Usually what happened in the last time I did this hot stream was when I was stuck in here trying to get out and I was bumping into Sathraki everywhere. Well, not everywhere. I'd get through one fight and then... Um, There'd be another one round the corner, and I just got wasted. down here let me just try this again yeah okay we did go that need to investigate around here and around here and I think we'll have a look around here and then we'll come out here I think Around. Like it's a Thraki decided to disappear, which is nice. I think that's pretty much everywhere now. Good thing there's only one mage here. When it gets to two, it gets a bit sort of. Hmm.
Yeah, I felt that was going to come. I'm going to have to reboot this in a minute, it's getting a bit too slow. Lemon board bow. That sounds fancy. Let me save here and just do a quick restart. Not the stream, just a machine. I also realise I've still got my tags up from yesterday. Let me just sort that out whilst we're here. I mean, it's a bit pointless because uh, I'm already missed quite a lot of the way through the stream, but I don't. Uh, I do want to try at least sort it. Oh, wrong. Uh, RPG. Um, Windows 98, uh, yep, that'll be fine. Okay, that should be updated. Making sure that you not because uh, the last stream we did uh, the sound was being very crackly. Uh, that's good. You can hear well on that. March nineteenth. Right, where are we? We need to rest first. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Whoops. Let's press this one. Okay. Do we need to come up here now, I think? Or well, we could investigate that. You're thinking about it. So I need to Oh, we've been here, right, okay.
This long tunnel slopes sharply upward to the west. It looks to go on for quite some ways. The upward tunnel here is blocked by countless tons of rock, apparently loosened by awesome magical force. Another possible escape route blocked. Oh, please tell me this is not a good... No, it looks okay. I don't know why that's there then. Well, that's the honeycomb to the west most explored there. I can't remember if there's anything around here. So I'm going to pop back down. Right, I was just looking for any of the um the white dots, but I don't think there's any around here. So the honeycomb can get be got from this side as well. Um so that's that explored. And the honeycomb done the ogre's caves which were came across which are over there. Um anything else I missed that's the city of I can't remember its name Alamira I think I'll get a, pot, a toll to pay through there in fact I want to see if they have any piercing crystals? Bronze plate, iron chainmail. Let me just check something. Uh, Excel escape the pit walkthrough because I wanna. I'm not looking at the walkthrough. I'm looking at the item lists. Right, so iron is the highest, bronze is not as good. What's bronze plate mail against iron chain mail? Iron chain mail is defense of nine with an encumbrance of two. Bronze plate mail is defense 12 with an encumbrance of 4. So I've got the better um, 
the better one, so I can ignore chain at the moment. Yeah, they've both got bronze plate. Okay, bronze great sword is a fourteen with a plus one um bonus. Iron X is an eight with a plus two bonus. And the iron tip spear is a 10 with a t plus 2 bonus what have I got I've got an iron broadsword on Sturm an iron broadsword on Kerr that gives me a 10 plus 2 See, this is a thought. Now, if I get rid of these two and go for the um, bronze great sword, I'm kind of dropping because iron shields do give you defense as well. So at the moment, I'm getting a defense of the bronze plate mail, which is twelve, and the iron shield is at. Uh, Plus four on top of that as well. And on the steel side, if I get a steel broadsword, the only benefit I'm getting is the plus three bonus over plus two. Hmm. Not sure about that one. Might have to come back, I think. Well, so, oh, and I think that's pretty much what you got, isn't it? So, um. Uh, Fletcher, so that's arrows. Not much in the way of food. Foods. Explore down here. Yes, I did because I went to the castle. That's correct. But I also remember going to a witch's place, but I don't remember where that was. I think it was up near the castle. I don't think we've been to Fort Emerald. Nothing lives in this lake. It is a deep, foul-smelling pool of sulfurous water, fresh from the top of the pla uh, the plateau to the north. It's surrounded by yellow, crusty deposits.
Tower of Patrick, all seekers of knowledge, uh, welcome. Have we been here? Yes, we have. Because one of the quests was to find Greymold. And that's in the, uh, it's the ogre area that got really difficult. Wondering whether it's worth trying that again. I'm going to go and fill that in off stream, I think, because we've already been there. In your travels through the caves, you have constantly noticed the quantity and variety of life forms present, both flora and fauna. Here, that miraculous and varied ecosystem comes to an abrupt end. The great cave to the west is much closer to what one would expect a cave to be a bare, blasted stone wasteland, featureless except for the occasional rubble. As far as you can see, to the west, nothing lives, nothing grows, not even mold. As you walk down the tunnel, you hear manic high-pitched laughter ahead. It makes your teeth ache. Or is this the... The Gremlin Cave? Yes, this is the Gremlin Cave thing. Um, the one where we had to kind of be in a, um, a labyrinth. We'll have to come back to this. Because I think I tried it earlier in the... Um, in the um not stream but the episode we've done a sound is barely readable because of the moss and mold beware this with the gremlins because that's what that would have said yeah, there again At some point we're going to come to the, is it the abyss? It says four emerald. This whole area is one enormous ruin. It seems that at one point some people tried to form a town here. You find ruined stone cottages, shells of farms, and ragged patches of edible mushrooms choked out by toadstools in abundance. It looks like everything of value was cleaned out long ago. At any rate, you don't have the time to search the entire ruin. In a sparse forest of the scraggly twisted trees that grow in exile, they, combined with the poisonous mushrooms growing in abundance, provide a rather bizarre landscape. There is evidence of a fair amount of tree cutting here. This is probably where the main source of the wood for, for the area.
In the middle of the bare, nearly featureless plain, you see a crude camp. In it, a lone man sits in a bedroom. Approach. He jumps up when he sees you approach, hand on his weapon. Then, when he realises you aren't bandits, he relaxes and welcomes you. Welcome, I'm Alexi. It's so good to see a human face. Uh, I've been out here a week and the food was starting to run out. I've had a lot, but there are gremlins about. All the problems I've had. You sit and talk to him for a while. He eventually explains the nature of his troubles. I'm a messenger. I carry important messages from fort to fort. I was carrying some valuable um, from fort remote to the castle. Then disaster struck. Gremlins attacked me. And the guards I was with, we got away, but the message disappeared. If they find out I lost it, I'll get jailed. So they left me a bunch of food, and I went looking. The gremlins have a layer to the south. I think they took it there. The gremlins aren't tough. If you can go in there and get the message for me, I'll reward you well. I can do that, believe me, but please help. Right, we've never come across this before. So let me just go and put this in the notes. Um, Alexi, the uh, Gremlin Cave, Mission um, to get, was it a note? Uh, to get message from the cave. Something we can come back to. Is done. Ah, I think I know this one. Chevy, uh, Chevy's Bazaar, we've been here before. It's in a small, scented with some sort of strange incense. Um, perhaps beyond comprehension with all sorts of items, the weapons, armor, and crafts of uh, Slith and Nephilim make. Uh, Busting one of the items is a short, stout, and possible animated woman. Um, let's see what's in the shop. So mace, weak, worthless, <laughs> weak strength, poison, potion, sorry, flint arrows, poison scroll, strong poison, healing po potion. Not really much. I was hoping to find something a bit better than that, but at least we found the bazaar now. Oh, there's any point in going back there. Yeah, there we go. Unless it changes, perhaps. I'll have to see if I can um, look in the previous um, sections we did and see if there was anything different. Great, we have a wizard.
Oh fuck, Gold Moon's back. Oh, Gold Moon is dead. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, it's the first step we've had in a while. I thought this was going to be an easy fight, but uh, no. Fine. Always in RPGs end up being one of those areas you think I'll oh, be fine and then suddenly wham. Not fine anymore. Ooh, this is a new uh, place. Darman. You found the trash heap of the city of Dharma. Look you. Oh, that was it. Okay. Uh, fine. There is a carved stone tablet here, Barrel Mounds. Nothing grows in this bleak barren area of the Great Cave. Not even lichen or the tiniest mushroom. It's been used instead as a huge graveyard. And um, Karen's is that littered landscape, each with a plaque saying the name of the deceased. Uh, deceased. Why he, she was sent into exile, date of death and cause. You notice many of the recent deaths were caused by his lethraki. There's a sign here for uh, Fumarole, Plateau, 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 whatever, don't drink the water. Yeah, I'm really bad with my reading comprehension sometimes. Oh, this is a castle, isn't it? Pretty sure we were up here at one point. Doing okay for food.
keep pressing the wrong thing. Mist globe. Hmm. Nobody can use that. Still, we should be able to pick it up. You can try and beat me up, but I don't think you're going to be able to do it. Yeah, fled. Of course you did. You suddenly come across a slith raiding party coming ashore. You've done someone a very good deed, saving them from a surprise slith attack. Unfortunately, you do this good deed by bringing their attack upon your own heads instead. Okay, we've got warriors, priests, that's with Ness, mages with an oh fuck me, I'm gonna die. Uh, kind of saved. It's not gonna be fun at all. A priest or a Jesus. You're going to have to do a lot of healing now. Farrell's dead. Yep, knew that was coming. Yep, keep away from that one.
Wow, this area is very, um, one of those ones I'm going to have to come back to. <laughs> Jesus. Wasn't expecting this. No, I didn't. Never mind. Come on, wizard, where are you? There you are. Eat fireball for a change. I'm surprised that nobody died at that point. Eat my big mouth. Barrel's now a dust. Okay, let's keep away from this area then. Oh, I don't want to sleep. Seems to be running into the assault now. Well, I'll have this as the last fight, and then I'm gonna uh, call it a stream, I think. Since so we're gonna, gonna get wasted quite quickly. Stop click the wrong one. Major heal to Bright oh no Farrell before she dies. This hair is not good. Okay, I need to find another quick way out of here. Right, I'm going to save it here. I'm going to call it a stream. Game saved. So I'm going to do a bit more grinding. Um, I'm going to go back to the uh, where we started, which was the Nephilim uh, fort. Uh, do a bit more grinding there because I can get some more um, experience. Get that done for next week. Um, we've got quite a bit of money and I think I need to do some leveling anyway. Sturm, Goldmoon, Zillith, and Farrell all need to be sorted. I think I might wait for another level on those because I'm not getting as many skill points. Four doesn't really go any f uh, go far, to be fair. Um. Yeah, I'll have to think about it for next time I play this. Right, anyway, thank you everybody for, everyone for popping in. Uh, just save it one more time. Um, 
I will be back. Probably I won't be back with this because at the moment I need to fix the um the thing to hold the uh, phone. The other one I do have the rubber bit for, uh, which is this bit, which is why it's not um this bit here, which is why it's not gripping the phone. I just need to get something called Gorilla Glue and stick it on there. The other one I'm not sure because it's got the um when you pull it out it's got very strong springs so um so you pull it out kind of steps back a bit so i need to figure out how that's gonna work in terms of how i'm gonna fix that because i can't keep buying these stuff all the time because it only works for a kind of a few months and then it kind of breaks again so it feels like it's um a lost what do you call it a lost not a lost profit a lost um I can't remember. Either way, it just feels like I'm constantly buying for no particular reason. Um, anyway. So, I will be back. Uh, <laughs> you can see the corner of my face there. I will be back on Friday, where we'll be carrying on with... Um, Super Skid Mart and Benefactor uh, for Retro Asylum. Then Sunday, we're going to be carrying on with Payback, which was the GTA clone. We've got two levels left to do, I believe. I think we're on... We've still got two levels to unlock. I think we've got to finish off the story one that we're on, I think. I think that's right, yeah. So that's Sunday. Um... Let me just check the dates, just to make sure that I'm not going to say that I'm going to be there when I'm not. Yeah, we're all good. Uh, Amiga Monday is going to be um, more uh, Amiga, for, Amiga Format CD11 uh, for the first part. And then for the second part, we'll be carrying on with uh, Millennium 2.2, where we've pretty much researched most places. We've got some more colonies to do and then we've got to figure out how we're going to get Mars out of the way because Mars is, um, I think, occupied by those aliens. So we'll have to figure that one out. And then, and then we're back again on Tuesday for more Exile. I think that's how it's working. So um, let's go and see who's available for raiding. Got a few people on today. But I think we're going to go to Pastor Plunger, who's playing Sunset Riders, I think on the Super Nintendo. Just check. Yep. Super Nintendo Real Hardware. So we'll go to see Pasta Plunger. There we go. Right. Thanks again for everybody for popping in. Apologies for the issues with the um, the video. I'll try and get that sorted soon. But until then, I will see you hopefully on Friday. If not, you know the rest of my schedule. And until then, I will see you later. Bye.